Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato. This is Hearts of Iron 4, together for victory. We, in the last episode, managed to liberate Angola, which is fantastic. Uh, we also are currently on course to try and liberate all of uh, all of the Portuguese colonies. And subsequently, after that, the fall of Leningrad. That's not good for us, because we quite like the communists uh, in Russia. Uh, Manch... Uh, no idea what that is. Um, yes, as I say, we are continuing to liberate the Portuguese colonies, which so far has gone quite, quite well. Is this... Where is this? Is this somewhere in, like, China or something? Yeah, it's somewhere in China. Men... Men... Ma, ma, Japan. Is Japan in the Allies? No, Japan is not in the Allies. However, you're at war with... Okay, wow. Okay, so Japan and uh, Germany are looking pretty fucking strong right now. Uh, it's just an objective opinion, I think, but they're looking pretty fucking strong. Uh, however, as soon as we get this whole African People's Union thing uh, running, then we're going to be pretty good. The fall of Sevastopol. Holy shit, in Crimea, really? I guess we'll just let that run. Yep, it looks like the Germans really are doing a number on the Soviets. They really, really are. Wow, it's so fucking big that their name is not quite as big as the Soviet Union's, although the Soviet Union's control a shit ton more territory. Uh, but you never know. Anyway, we're pushing into Portugal. This is eventually going to become Mozambique, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, it looks like they've just got two cores here. And then this is uh, Kenya. This is Zimbabwe. And this is Botswana. So we've got a lot 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 of colonies to liberate and we're going to be doing it in uh in style that's right we're gonna be doing it in style why are you not attacking oh you are indeed attacking and somebody's trying to invade but you can fuck right off because no one is going to invade my borders again the fall of moscow oh my god this is this is 1941 no, it's, 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 the war is supposed to be longer than that. What the fuck? Germany, come on, slow down, buddy. Slow the fuck down. I hope the United Kingdom starts doing something about this, because uh, that would be real good if uh, if they could do something about this and therefore, you know, take the troops out of Africa. That's kind of that's kind of the dream. Would love that to happen. There we go. Portuguese troops are limping home. That's exactly what we like to see. Um, we don't want to overextend this time because I just, you know, I'm fucking fed up of doing that. Uh, let's add you to an army. Let's actually get you to just chill out over here. Uh, the reason that I want you to do this is because last time we were navally invaded, it was from this very, this very dock right here, this very port in Mozambique, which was very, very annoying, and it literally lost me half my army which sounds unbelievable but was actually true um protect the trade convoy disrupt the trade trade uh, protect the trade i don't give a shit just do something we actually have one dock now by the way so we can actually start making um convoys which is actually what we wanted to make in the first place Eleven per year? That's actually remarkably okay, considering we have literally, like, zero oil. Um, I don't think we have the tech to build synthetic oil refineries, which we totally don't. We should probably actually really get that very, very soon. Although, we're not going to have that much territory, which is, which is worth bearing in mind, because we've gone down the road of uh, allowing each colony to sort of be their own. We're not really going to have that much territory to expand into, so... Uh, we're, quite, we're sort of stuck with the, with the lot that we've got, so to speak, but hey-ho. All right, yes, you're going to move over here, which is fantastic. Uh, assembly line production, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Insufficient resources, of course, we've got oil. Yes, I know. I'm not going to worry too much about that because I don't really care that much. Uh, and let's get synthetic oil refinery production. Finally, finally, finally. It's really probably worth getting uh, about five years too late but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i mean <laughs> it would have gotten us rubber as well but not aluminium and we still need aluminium to make to make airplanes so we can't actually do anything about airplanes right now we're still just stuffed for airplanes unless we want to trade away factories which we could but i just don't rate that very highly i you know i trade away the factories that i need for weapons and that's about it like that's that's pretty much how we roll why the hell are there dutch troops over here like Really? Or French or whatever, I don't really care. Why the hell? That really shouldn't be the case. 
That really should be the case. We're chasing the Portuguese out of Mozambique, which is really, really exciting. Uh, I'm really actually very, very stoked for uh, for this. It's very, very cool. It's it's just the whole, the whole fact that we're forming our very own union, our very own faction, is is so electrifying. It really, really is. Um, and very soon, I suspect that we will uh, we will have complete global dominance. Well, that's maybe somewhat of an exaggeration, but I think that you get the picture. Uh, how how is how is Germany doing? Have, oh oh, almost managed to recapture Moscow's Soviet Union. Although you're gonna get Stalingrad, which is the capital, actually. Well, technically at the moment, I don't know if Moscow was the capital, but well, it certainly today it is the capital. But um, but back in the day, I think it might have been Stalingrad. I can't really quite recall. How many how many points was Moscow worth? 50 victory. Okay, so I guess that was the capital. Stalingrad is just a major city. A major city. It's worth quite a lot. Uh, is Turkey, Turkey is allied with the Nazis, apparently. And is getting invaded for it. So, good on you. Good on you there, buddy. Uh, we are looking a little bit dodgy along this border. Does Angola actually have any troops to speak of? I don't think they do. I don't think they have a single fucking troop. Start land lease. Can we start giving them like weapons and stuff? I think we should probably start giving them some weapons. I'm gonna give them like 10%, 20% maybe of like monthly production. Just like fingers crossed that that actually helps them producing some troops. I don't know if it actually will, but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. Um, guarantee independence. Can I do, can I not guarantee their independence? Oh, we're already guaranteeing them. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter if they're communist to me. I'll still guarantee their asses. That's 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 fine. That works for me. Uh, there's no other docks that I'm coming into, which is which is fantastic. We we constantly need to stay aware of this. Uh, what's the battle plan look like for this? Looks achievable. Looks very achievable. Let's execute that battle plan immediately, please, Mister whatever your name is, Henrik Protractor. That's not how you say it, but it's how I'm gonna say it. I am worried about these British troops here, though. Like, they... Uh, uh, could you not, like, I don't know, like, focus on fucking Germany or something? Uh, you know, they're they're quite powerful, actually, when you look at it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you look at it. Hey, look at us. We're, we're one of the big boys. We've got... We're one of the three world wars. I say world war. That's not really a world war. Not really a world war at all, but I wish it was. No, in fact, no, I don't. I, I want to try and keep things as low key as possible for as long as possible. Inventory offensive, brand new tech, fantastic. Uh, any other industry stuff that we want to get? You are still a little bit ahead of your time, so let's not do that too soon. You're a little bit ahead of your time too. Uh, airplanes, yeah, yeah not, not really that necessary. Uh, naval, naval fleets, no, naval fleets, no. Let's just get armored operations. Ha <laughs> ha, armored operations, what a fucking joke. I, I don't have the resources to build, I don't have the resources to build fucking tanks. I don't have the resources to build anything apart from fucking machine guns. And barely those, in all honesty. In fact, speaking of machine guns, when can I get the next level of machine guns? 1942. Actually, very, very soon. Very, very soon. We should really stay on top of that, actually. Much more than I, uh... We should stay on top of that much more than I have been. Alright, we're winning this battle. We have air superiority. Fantastic stuff. We only have 20, 22 aircraft. Eight of them were shot down, apparently. Um, but we control the air region of South Africa, which is bloody remarkable, if you ask me, considering things uh, things weren't going so good in the air battle. But, you know, what can you do, eh? What can you do? You just gotta roll with the punches sometimes. Just gotta roll with the punches. So, I worry about going to war uh, with Angola on my side because Angola is instantly gonna get gimped by fucking Belgium and the United Kingdom. Um, also, Mozambique. Mozambique, when it does eventually spawn, which will be very soon, actually, uh, is gonna be so fucking hammered, like, it's not gonna be able to do anything. Oh, goodness gracious me, let's get two more dockyards. Fantastic. Allows me to not be a fucking idiot. When it comes to uh, when it comes to convoys, not like it really matters. 
but hey ho, we don't have any oil to produce convoys anyway. But we are producing them at a very slow pace. Freedom for Mozambique. We welcome them with open arms. That's exactly what I want. I don't really want them to be a puppet. I want them to be their own free, independent nation. That's the plan anyway, right? Oh, did they just all despawn? Fantastic. All right, we did it. We finished the war. We're at war with Portugal. I guess that will conclude our war. Can I offer them peace? Why can I not offer them peace? I I've literally achieved my goal, right? Like... I've achieved my goal of war against Portugal. Why... 100% in favor of the aggressors. Yeah, take... I mean, we've achieved the war goal. War finishes. Yeah, there we go. But now I'm expected to still fuck up Portugal's shit. I don't really want to do that. That's not really... That's not really my aim. Can I... Uh, I still can't demand Madagascar from the fucking Frenchies, can I? That's a shame. That is indeed a shame. Um... Yes, so we're going to need to do something pretty challenging uh, right now. So you're probably going to have to go to the border over there, which is a fucking trek and a half, I know. But I don't honestly think that we're in a position to to combat, to, to counter them. Like We really we really are not. We're going to have to up our production of troops, which is annoying to say the least, but whatever. We're going to do what we got to do. Thankfully, we've got mostly uh, a, a good backlog of weapons. Uh, we are giving some weapons to uh, to Mozambique, not to Mozambique, to Angola, though. Uh, I'm also probably going to do a similar sort of deal, perhaps. Hmm. Next election is 1945. Okay, so there's a chance that he becomes communist and forgives me for my sins, but I, I doubt it. <laughs> I, I did end up taking some of his... Some of his territory, which was probably rather annoying for the chap, but what can you do, eh? Uh, okay, let's get the improved infantry equipment on the go, and then after that we'll be able to go into the next level of infantry weapons, which is very exciting. Uh, we've got loads of troops moving over there, fantastic. Um, to help fortify the Angolan border. This is a border that I personally do not think that we can actually break. Um, the UK have got way too many troops, especially in Africa. It's going to be very, very difficult indeed. I mean, colonial powers, am I right? Colonial powers. Paraguay? Can I invite them to our faction? I, I mean, I wish I could, to be honest. I wish I fucking could. Invite to faction? Yeah, I mean, we can't ask to join their faction, unfortunately, because we started our own faction, the best faction, with strippers and cookies or whatever the saying is. I don't I fucking don't know. Um, oh, fuck me, Portugal invaded. Well, good thing that we're here to sort this shit out, right? Should be able to push them back in quick succession. I guess we keep these troops over here just in case Portugal tries any other stupid shenanigans. Construction done, fantastic. Should be able to move right into here. And in fact, we'll actually bring these three troops up to this area. So that uh, we shall not have to keep troops that are actually in an army in an occupied space. Uh, let's continue with this stuff. Let's get some mortars or whatever. I don't know. Just get whatever suits us. Yep. Seems that we are indeed going to be heading right into... Lucanda, L Luanda, Luanda, grand, uh, and you guys can uh, can head up to the border. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, but where where are where are my troops that were coming? Ah, oh, yes, they're coming. How long is it going to take them to get there? Forty, forty nine days. That's a month and a half. That that's a little bit taking the piss. Like I don't wanna That's that's taking the piss a little bit. That's taking the piss. Uh can we like build infrastructure in our neighboring countries? We actually can't. We can't build neighboring structures. I mean we probably could if it was a puppet, but I don't think that that's the case. Uh, I'm gonna queue up a little bit of 
infrastructure because we're going to be dealing with so many millions of troops. Am I right? Am I right? I fucking wish. Um, the question is, though, the real question is, when, when is the right time to attack Belgium? That's the question, right? Like, when is the right, when is the right time to attack Belgium? <sighs> because it will, it will trigger, it will trigger, uh, well, I'm not gonna, it's not, it's not really a world war, I suppose, but it, it does put a big target on our back, which would mean a lot of shit coming our way. Which doesn't really fill me with a great amount of confidence, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, French commune is fucking nothing. I still don't know why I can't demand Madagascar right now, but whatever. Um, so why you're taking 20 fucking days to arrive through the jungle? Can somebody get rid of that jungle, please? You're going to take another, whatever it is, 20 days to arrive in that one stupid place. Oh, my God. They've captured it again. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to capture it back from them. Because that's how we fucking roll. We don't muck around here. We just capture it back for our allies. The fall of Cairo? To who? Mussolini? I don't know about that. That's... A significant development. That does not look like a significant development to me, buddy. Looks like a fairly insignificant development if ever I saw one. Who am I to say? Mussolini can call it whatever he wants. Expand the Simon's Tower Base. Fantastic. Let's put a few more of those on. Here we go. Three a month. Oh, I feel, I feel so privileged. Anti-submarine tactics. Submarine warfare. Somehow, I don't think that really matters. Somehow, I don't think that really matters at all. Somehow, I don't think there's much here that is actually really going to matter to us. Maybe a continuous... Fo uh, continuous. Uh, maybe a continuous focus might... Uh, might be an idea. Joins faction research. Factory repair speed, free repair... Uh, construction. I don't really care about construction. Army training, division training time, minus 25%. Thank God, if we go for that, like... That's just the best, the best, the best one to constantly do, I think. Like, I don't think there's anything else that we really value as highly. How long is it going to take you to arrive? 13 days. 13 days is a long time to rely on Portugal not conquering me in that time, but I believe that that might, uh, that might just be the case. Okay, so having a look at the troops on the border, it looked initially like there was a lot of shenanigans up here, but it looks like... Um, I have the clear, clear majority of troops, which is, which is reassuring, actually. Very, uh, I would say. We still have yet to see the first ever Angolan troop pop up. Mozambique still has to train a troop as well, but I trust that it'll be, uh, I trust that it'll be a, a short time coming before they, before they get their first troop online. I say short time, it's gonna take them fucking ages, of course, but whatever. Uh, you or guys are gonna sit here, just chill out at this port whilst we uh, whilst we prepare for war against uh, against Belgium. Believe it or not, we do have a limited time frame to take all of the territory that we want to take. But honestly, with those number of troops, I think that that's very possible that we that we take that. Now, again, it's gonna it's gonna take a while for us to get the African Union to be to be anything that's worth a damn. But when it is worth a damn, it's going to be fucking big and it's going to be fucking good, right? Let's train a whole bunch more troops as well. 20 divisions at once. This is probably our biggest training exercise. In fact, it literally is our biggest training exercise that we've ever undertaken. But is it going to be enough to defeat the scourge of the United Kingdom? I don't know. In fact, well, not even the United Kingdom. I'm not even mad at the United Kingdom. It's just Belgium that we want to take, but... Hey ho. I mean, I don't think the French commune, I don't think they control any land that can be turned into. No. Uh, Liberia. Can we actually ask if you want to be? Invite to faction? You're not a big fan. You're a bit of a Democrat. A bit of a Democratic person. 
Uh, Portuguese, Guyana, Gambia. Yeah, so there's no... Yeah, nationalist Spain, that doesn't count as another... That doesn't, that doesn't count as another country. Oh, is that Libya? Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, but pretty much no other place. That's Ethiopia, as we already identified. Um, Egypt, Italy, Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Um, and that's Libya again. So it's pretty much just like this half. It pretty much stops at this border where there's independent cult. Like this, this area is like nothing, right? So I guess we don't even need Madagascar. It's just this part that we need to concentrate on, which is reassuring, I suppose, in some ways. But in other ways, it's very, very annoying. Um, the problem is, is that is that the French are going to get called in anyway. Which kind of sucks. Um, we don't actually need... We don't actually want the French to come into this war. So I'm actually going to non-aggression pack them again. Because, I mean, we could justify on them, right? But there's no, there's no territory that we actually need from them. I mean, yes, there's a little bit with Egypt. But we can break that, that non-aggression pact after we've declared the war. Which is the main thing. Um, and that's just one less person to worry about, I suppose. I don't I don't rate them much as a threat, but um, I do control that little bit of Libya over there. Uh, not Ethiopia. But ugh, I think we'll just, I think we'll go ahead and, uh, and non-aggression pack them again. Okay, so as soon as I realized that there was not really any colonies over here, then that's, then that's, that's, that's a good step forward. Um, okay, well, ladies and gents, in the next episode, we're going to be declaring war on our former brothers and sisters of the United Kingdom. Which is going to be a big, bold, sad move. Sad day. Um, but we've got the troops for it. We've got the manpower for it. <laughs> and uh, fingers crossed, we've uh, we've got the balls to carry it out. Anyway, ladies and gents, thanks very much for watching. And of course, it's been Old Potato. And I'll see you next time. Bye.